good morning happy lockdown day two it's time to get moving it is 6 a.m and we're gonna go do a circuit workout in the garage let's go in the garage i have shifted my car outside so i've given myself a bit of space but we're gonna do a workout i went to kmart the other night like the day the lockdown was announced we had to go to the supermarket and kmart's like next door and so I went to came out and grabbed like some dumbbells, a kettlebell, a skipping rope, and some ankle weights. So we're gonna use those the best we can with the space that we've got. summary 40 minutes 339 calories average heart rate of 165 bpm jeez i can't even talk so you guys would have seen the seven exercises i did and i used the sarah's day like the sizzy timer app and i just used the sweaty shredder layout and then just chose my own workout like own exercises if you're at home it's locked down you don't have this equipment totally cool substitute it yeah i don't know get creative mountain climbers obviously you don't need the sliders i just use them because it's fun i did skipping to a failure at the end i haven't done skipping in a long time it like always amazes me how hard it is every time i do it like in primary school it used to be so easy like if you're a kiwi kid you'll know like the white skipping runs with like the red handles or the blue handles or whatever i now need to go get ready it's seven o'clock i have work today i don't want to say where i work but i am an essential worker so i'm just working a half day today which is nine to one basically like my biggest goal for lockdown for like this quarantine lockdown period is to try and maintain my routine so that includes like when i wake up i want to get changed into like a proper outfit as if i'm leaving the house and i was going to wear sweats but i made a deal with myself yesterday once it sort of gets to like five o'clock when i normally get home from uni and work then i'm allowed to get into my sweats because yeah it's kind of like wind down time let's go get ready for the day i'm still so puffed we're showered dressed and ready to go about the day um jumpers from princess polly and jeans are from cotton on so now i'll get questions if i don't address that also this cute claw clip that is also from Zeta. I will link them down below. Not sponsored. It's a small business in Auckland run like an online boutique run by Tish. She's also a small YouTuber, so go support her. Let's go do the morning routine and go to work. Hello guys, I am home from work and a lot has happened since I last vlogged. Um, I am going to Auckland before the 48 hour cutoff to join my brother and sister-in-law's bubble. And my parents, who are currently trapped in the South Island, rang them this morning to see what their plan was and they were on their way to the ferry from Wanaka. So they are crossing over either tonight or first thing in the morning and gonna be home tomorrow. But I have to move before tonight, so I'm going. Right, it's time to go. Can you not? <laughs> if we just ignore the fact she's leaving, she's not really going. We went through this with Rachel. We have to go through it with you as well. It's really low. <laughs> Marty's featuring. Right. Can you guys make sure you water Why my plant? Why do I look like a Look how good it's doing. I don't know if it's meant to have yellow flowers or uh, yellow I leaves. It. If it's not, please don't tell me it's not. I don't want to hear that. Hello guys, coming at you from back home in Auckland. I know that video kind of started off like a cute day in the life and then just did a complete U-turn. That was not how the day was supposed to go to any extent. I was planning on actually staying in Hamilton for the lockdown because obviously my parents were in the South Island. So I was like, well... I'm not going to come home just to hang out with Matt and Sage because Matt works from home all day and Sage is an essential worker. I obviously got up, did my workout, got ready, went to work and on my way to work I rang mum to see what they were up to. And I was like, oh, you sound like you're driving. She's like, yeah, we're actually on our way back to Auckland. They were in their camper van so they couldn't actually stay anywhere. Like, they had to stay put and like they were in a hotel at the time because they'd been there anyway. Yeah, it was kind of like, well, we either stay in this hotel for the next foreseeable amount of time or we get in the car, we drive, and we get back 
to Auckland ASAP. And so that was a, that was what they decided to do. They were trying to get back before the 48 hour period, but they couldn't realistically do that. But it was okay because they're both essential workers, so they had a pass to be able to cross over on the ferry. Because my plan was to take the flat because mum and dad weren't going to be home. And they're like, oh, we're coming home. And I was like, oh, I'm going to try to get home as well. And so I was like, I need to get home before 11.59pm on Thursday night. Otherwise, I'm not going to get home. And so I was like, right, let's do this. And so I spoke to my boss. He's like, no, like, you can go home. We don't actually, like, we don't need you. So went home, packed up my stuff, got in the car, drove to Auckland, and here I am. Mum and Dad got home last night. They left Wanaka in the morning, drove 759 kilometres, didn't stop. They only stopped once to get petrol, and while they were filling up petrol, they made their lunch and ate it on the go. And they got to the ferry with 15 minutes of spare, crossed over, stayed in Plumerton for the night at a campground, the one campground that's open in the North Island, like the one, like... NZ, NCA park that was open in the camper van and then got back here last night just before dark so it's been very full on but I'm home, I'm safe the situation was going to get worse before it was going to get better as it has looking in hindsight now a few days later so I'm glad I did make the decision to come home because as I was leaving Hamilton I was like oh I don't know if I'm doing the right thing here but Danny, Taya and Morgan are still at the flat I wasn't going to upload this video because it kind of isn't really much but I want to update you guys as to where I was at because I feel like people will be confused because I already said on Instagram I was staying in Hamilton and now I'm in Auckland and it's like Emma you're breaking the law I was like no I'm not I'm going to try to upload videos a bit more regularly for you guys during this time because I know that a lot of people are going to be at home a little bit bored and I am also one of those people so I'm going to use my time to produce content so that you guys can watch it Sound like a deal? Awesome. But apart from that, stay safe, stay well, stay in your bubble, make someone smile, and I'll see you in my next video.